So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business on the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. I'll get this old boat ready. Scrape off a few barnacles. Ask me for any gear you need. Sokolov's elixir have reached a critical low point. Ordinary citizens will be limited to purchasing half a dose per day. Quite a bloodbath at the Golden Cat. Well, at least it will strike some fear into those who oppose us. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. Attention. Your first responsibility is to the city's health. A spouse, parent, or child showing plague symptoms must be reported. No exception. Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. 